Good afternoon, Trailblazers. I'm Oriana Grant, putting with another edition of Vanguard TV. Here at LT, we try to cover as many electives as possible. Here's Lauren Johnson with an inside look on speech and debate. Hey, Trailblazers. This is Lauren Johnson with the Vanguard TV. In order to graduate, everyone must have their speech and debate credit before it's too late. Let's see what the class is all about. So in speech class, we just write speeches like informative speeches, Ray and Ray speeches, and there's like many different speeches we write, and... We get um, a good amount of time to write them. We have like usually the all weekend or like two days to write it and prepare. So it's kind of fun. Class is speech. And um, basically we take a bunch of notes and we, um, she gives us a speech to do. So right now we're, we are doing our rave and rant speech and I'm about to go and I'm kind of scared, but it's okay. That's the thing about the class, I get really scared to do speeches, but I mean, I guess you'll, I get used to it over the semester. We're currently working on a persuasive speech and I'm kind of scared because like it's, I'm not really good at persuading, so it's gonna take a while to get a speech together, but it's, it's okay, it should be fun. I feel like I need to work on reading too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I read off my notes really fast and I don't really look at the audience because I'm too scared. The most challenging thing about speech is probably like thinking of ideas to write the speech about and like getting at the time frame that you need. And the easiest thing would probably be like putting your speech together and like just presenting and dressing up because dressing up is the fun part about speech and you just get to like cute, you know? <laughs> um, what's challenging? It's just going in front of everybody and like trying not to mess up because then you get points off. But the easy part is just, I guess, making the speech. For me, at least, it's just going up there that's hard. Um, speech is really fun and the teacher I have is fun too and she makes it like exciting, like I want to do the speech and like, it's not boring like I thought it would be. It's definitely not stressful because if you just get it all done in class or if you have the weekend time to do it, then you have enough time to work on it, so it's kind of fun. Like, in between? I mean, it can be fun because, like, the classmates in there are, like, fun to, like, because they make a bunch of jokes, but, like, it's also really hard to, like, do the speeches, I guess. Now that you have an idea about the class overall, don't forget to get your speech and debate credit before it's too late. With the Vanguard TV, I'm Lauren Johnson. Are you thinking about having a summer job? Mona Lane Santos looks at places that are hiring for the summer. Hi Trailblazers, this is Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. With summer around the corner, students are seeking out summer jobs. Um, stores like Kroger, Walmart, and Target offer jobs to teenagers. Uh, usually pretty boring jobs, like at maybe sometimes it's like what's it Jimmy John's or like pizza places or Chick-fil-A they're really like fast food restaurants and stuff there are jobs at hospitals or other like grocery stores which have uh, job opportunities my summer job is working as a cash register at 99 ranch I have a job at Kroger um, I'm gonna be interning at a hospital I'm getting a job because I really want money and uh, my parents uh, uh, don't want to give me any money. <laughs> because my parents don't give me allowance, so I wanted money and that's why I got this job. Um, I went uh, to the store and I gave an interview for it and then they accepted me. Um, I went to the store to apply and I got a piece of paper and then I did an interview with them. It depends on the people you're around and what shift you're on because sometimes the people can be really boring, so that makes your day boring. And sometimes the people can be really nice, and that makes your day good. I think it's going to be very stressful, but since it's during the summer, I think I can get a hang of it first. I think it's gonna be um, not that good, but it's not gonna be horrible. It's just normal, I guess. Um, I don't know, it makes me feel more responsible or more confident, and I don't know, less lazy because now I'm not stuck at home all the time. Um, I'm happy about getting a job because I get money. Good luck to all the trailblazers that are getting summer jobs. This has been Mona Lane Santos reporting with the Vanguard TV. Just like other ULL groups, there is a team that competes just in Spanish called Net Olay. Julie Lyon has the story. Hi Trailblazers, this is Julie Lyon with the Vanguard TV. 
Some of our Spanish students just went to Netole for a Spanish competition. Netole is a Spanish competition that is not unlike UIL academics. We have poetry and prose and speech and drama and all of those competitions that you have in UIL academics, but the only difference is, is you do them all in Spanish. Um, they also have cultural categories, which are really neat, like dance and, and art and these things. So it's kind of neat. It kind of encompasses, like I said, all of the UIL academic, um, really fun things to do, but they do it all in the target language, which kind of adds an additional challenge um, that a lot of our kids have shown in the past to uh, really rock at. Okay, so I'm doing 3D sculpture and memorized prose. I think I'll do okay if I don't get nervous. I don't think it's gonna be easy because we have to memorize Spanish and it's not like a normal story, it's like prose. And also, I think it's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be a good experience. Um, I feel that this competition uh, really gives students an arena to practice what they've already learned and in a way that they really like, whether that be poetry, whether that be uh, in a speech, or whether that be drama, or whether that be uh, reading comprehension. Um, it adds that an additional layer of uh, competition, and I think I think it's really great and it gives students a way to also earn those academic accolades in something unique like a, like a foreign language and a world language for their academic portfolios that they'll use to apply uh, for college with that they took that extra initiative to not just learn but to do something with what they learned. So I really love this competition and I have no doubt that our kids are going to rock it. Congratulations to all the students who participated in Ned Ole. This has been Julie Lyon with the Vanguard TV. Last week, we presented info for our Mega Lunch trial run. Mrs. Pospic, answer some questions that you've submitted. Hello, Trailblazers. This is Ms. Pospic, and I'm here to address some of the concerns, the questions um, that you guys have regarding Mega Lunch. So I just want to thank you all for taking the time to fill out that um, feedback form so we know um, how to make sure that everyone knows where they're going for Mega Lunch tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to just start with some of the concerns that some students had regarding Mega Lunch. Um, so first of all, there um, were a lot of comments just about the lack of trash cans in the hallways, and, um, and that's something that we have planned for. Um, and we're going to um, address. We've already mapped out where additional trash cans are gonna go in the hallways, the collaborative spaces to make sure that trash um, is picked up. So really just remember it's a collaborative effort. Um, we all have to pitch in, we all have to sometimes pick up trash that's not even ours. Um, so please just do your part. Um, it's everyone's building. If we have um, some individuals who just cannot handle the freedom and the responsibility that comes with mega lunch, um, you know, then we are going to address those specific individuals. A lot of times it's it's the same students over and over. So um, if it comes to that point, then those students specifically will just get that privilege revoked where they will have to go into the lecture hall and it's just a silent lunch for that entire hour. The other thing that was a big concern are just um, teacher schedules and how do we know when our teacher has tutorials or when they are eating lunch or when maybe they're at their duty station. Um, so we will have a master list of all the teachers and all their schedules um, posted in the hallways. Um, so there will be um, that to kind of help you. It'll determine, okay, this, you know, Miss Hawks, she has um, tutorials during the A block on Tuesdays. And then she eats her lunch during the B block. So we know that we have to go see her during that A block time. Um, the other thing that teachers will have outside of their own classrooms is their own personal schedule. Um, so that will kind of indicate too, if you show up and you see, okay, their door's locked. Oh, but they're at lunch or maybe they're at this duty station. Um, that kind of lets you know too, that when you need to come back for that tutorial or to ask them that question or maybe even just to work in their classroom on on an upcoming project off-campus lunch uh, yes you have a full hour to eat lunch now so I understand that that's very tempting to go to all the amazing restaurants that we have nearby um, but no it is still a closed campus for lunch that is actually a district policy so I don't foresee um, that changing anytime soon please keep in mind that you are now no longer restricted to just the cafeteria during lunch um, you can eat in collaborative spaces you can eat in the hallways um, you can and even eat still in that little courtyard area outside of the cafeteria. Um, there's just a lot more options for you. In addition to that, um, our theater tech, they were um, amazing in building all of our um, 
chairs and tables, putting all that furniture together for us. Um, we're going to add that throughout the, the school. It'll be um, in, ex, you know, we'll put tables and chairs in hallways, um, extra tables and chairs in collaborative spaces, just so there are more options um, for where you can eat. Keep in mind, you can always just sit down in the hallway. Um, if you don't want to use a table and a chair, and you want to just sit down on the floor and eat your lunch, that is totally fine with us. Um, again, just make sure that if you are in the academic hallways, that you are sitting on the side of the wall um, that does not have the lockers. Kids will still need to get into their lockers, and we also don't want to take up both sides of the hallway. We want to leave a good walking space. So um, so those are kind of the, the rules and the expectations as far as where you can sit. Um, therefore, the cafeteria shouldn't be an issue of, of being overly crowded. The other question was, is how does this affect trailblazer time? Um, that's a really great question just because you know trailblazer time is that time for tutorials and a time that you can get homework done or or just even decompress and hang out with friends so really that time and um and and that use doesn't go away it's just kind of rolled into to the lunch hour so everything that you are being able to do and you know to get accomplished during that trailblazer time you can still get accomplished during mega lunch you can still have 30 minutes to go to tutorials or if you wanted to take even longer to do your homework um, that's completely fine too so um so you just it's the same thing as trailblazer time um it's just rolled into mega lunch and it just gives you some more options and flexibility the other thing was will the coffee shop be open um yes we are going to open up the cafe or the coffee shop whatever you want to call it um just to give some more options for um, for food lines, um, there I don't know specifically what will be served. That were some that was some other questions, um, and I'm I'm really not sure what will be served. But um, there will be more options in there for you as well. Also, what will this look like for next year? As far as you know, homeroom and just different policies. Please just keep in mind that this is a trial. Um, we are trying everything out. Um, it may be where we open up certain areas next year that we have closed down this year. Um, it may be that um, we have open gym this year and it doesn't work out for next year. Um, we don't know what homeroom looks like specifically yet. Um, those are all details that we're going to figure out um, and kind of use this trial run to, to really guide those decisions for next year. So the big question is, what do we do tomorrow? Um, so tomorrow the bell will ring at 12.05 like it normally would, but instead of um, it being just trailblazer time, it is now the beginning of lunch. So you have some options. You can jump in a food line right away and, and get your food, find a place to eat, um, or you can opt to go to a tutorial first or maybe you want to go to a collaborative space and work on some homework for a little bit and grab lunch at the end of that hour um, how you want to time that is, is really up to you um, now remember that if you get assigned a mandatory tutorial today on your form because we are doing forms this week that you need to make sure that you understand when you need to go to that tutorial so for instance if you are assigned an English tutorial with Miss Hawks, then um, you need to go look at her schedule and, and be able to de to determine, okay, do I need to show up for in, during that A block of time for tutorials or do I need to show up for B block? Um, again, just go to her classroom, look at her personal schedule, or you can use the master list in the hallway. Um, so just make sure that you get to those tutorials if you are assigned. Otherwise, however you want to plan that time is, is really up to you. Um, some students some students don't eat at all during lunch. Uh, maybe they have a big breakfast or or maybe, you know, they're not really hungry in the middle of the day or for whatever reason. Um, you don't have to eat at all if you if that's your thing. So um, you can just spend the entire time in a tutorial. You can spend the time doing homework or just hanging out with friends. Um, if you have um, no tutorial to go to, um, then you have that full hour just to eat, hang out with friends, do whatever it is that, that you need to accomplish for that time. Um, so again, there's a lot of options. If you have specific questions um, or if you asked a question on that feedback form that was not addressed in this um, video, then please just see one of the administrators and we will help you out. If you have any specific questions about tomorrow and, and where you need to, to go for mega lunch, um, just come see us and, and we'll guide you in the right direction. Overall, we're just really excited that we get to be the trailblazers of the district and, and trying this new lunch model. And um, we can't, can't wait to see what happens. Thank you. That's all for this week, trailblazers. Please check out our latest stories on our website, including a trivia segment put together by our TV broadcast one students. Have a great week.